friend you have? The girl who seems to have it all figured out. She's got the great job, the great guy, the great life. Well, I'm not that girl. My name is Erica Strange. I'm 32, still working a dead-end job, still sleeping with my cats. I know people wonder why the cute girl with the great education and the great friends can't get it together. There's a simple answer. Bad decisions. I could teach a course on messing up your life. Really, I am that good at getting everything wrong. The worst part is, it wasn't always like this. I used to be a rising star, but these days, I just feel like a flame out. WTP Insurance, this is Erica speaking. How can I help you? Yes, sir. Were you planning on purchasing a policy with us? Uh-huh. And how many people would you like to insure? Uh, let me put you through to another agent. Okay, okay. So I know it's my fault my life is where it's at. But I figure I gotta catch a break sometime, right? He fired you? He said I was too bright for the job. Well, that's wrongful dismissal. I mean, clearly, you can't fire someone for being too smart. It's just embarrassing. I mean, I have my master's degree, and I can't keep a customer service job. I'm sorry. I, I want to talk about this, but I, I've got a meeting. Will you call me tonight after your date? Yeah. Lava life, right? What's his name? Trevor. Oh, yeah, the dentist. <laughs> Third date? Yep. <sighs> Wow, you're excited. Well, we had some trouble setting this one up. I mean, he keeps telling me how busy he is. And you know what that means. That he's fixing teeth. Come on, Erica. I mean, he's cute, he's smart, he's got a great job, and he's into you. I mean, three dates? Three dates means you're basically together. Well, if we're basically together, I guess I shouldn't be looking up Noah LaFleur on Facebook, right? Wait, Noah from high school? Come on. Past is past. Go out with the dentist, you know? Flash that beautiful smile of yours and just, just have a good time. Okay. All right. Bye. Mwah. Love ya. Love ya. Can I offer you a mocha mint latte sample? Walnuts in that latte. Any, any nuts in the latte? Yeah, it's actually the hazelnut mocha mint latte.
Mark is strange. That's me. How you feeling? Um, I'm feeling a little better. What happened? I'm allergic to nuts, and I had this mocha mint lap of frip. No, no. Frap of... I, I mean before that. I mean, anything else happened today? Anything particularly upsetting? Yes, I was fired from my job and dumped, sort of. <laughs> so all in all, a pretty bad day. I'm sorry, you're a doctor, right? In a manner of speaking. I'm a therapist. I don't need a therapist. I had an allergic reaction. Well, tell me if I'm getting warm, okay? It's not just that today was bad. It's every day. It's the feeling that nothing seems to work out for you. Still single, all those nights alone with the cat, all your successful married friends feeling bad for you. Am I getting warm? Who are you? In the middle of difficulty, lies opportunity albert einstein well you think about it and if you're interested you can give me a call Careful, sweetheart, it still might be hot. Thanks. Look, I gotta get home. Where are my clothes? Oh, you're not leaving. You're staying here till you get some rest. Please, Mom, don't be paranoid. I'm, I'm fine. I'm paranoid. Judith has called four times. Your sister's beside herself and your dad. Mom, I hope you're nice. I'm always nice. Oh, come on, come on. Surprise! Your sister's here! Hi, Hi sweetheart. Oh, my God, God, are you okay? Hi, Sam. How are you feeling? Yeah. Fine. Okay. Good, good, good. We're good. Hi, Joe. Hi, girl. Hi, Aunt Roberto. Wow. Hey, Uncle Joe. Mom, what's what's going on? I made a nice brunch so you could visit with everyone. Great. What an awesome idea. Mm-hmm. Come, come. Everyone, sit, eat. Wow. Nice pajamas. It's perfect brunch attire. Oh, don't. <laughs> And I wouldn't exactly call it little. <laughs> it's brand new. I hope you'll take some time off to enjoy it. Sam take time off? No, she's a typical surgeon. She loves to work. Unlike you, of course. You're the only slacker investment banker I know. Ooh. So, Erica, how's the job? It's the call center, right? Uh, I'm not working there anymore. Oh. Anyone hiring? What kind of position are you looking for, dear? Oh, you know, a food stylist, a calligrapher, cat psychic, something that suits my unique abilities. So what, you just quit without finding another job first? Josh. What? Erica, tell us about that guy you've been dating, the one from Lava Life. He's a doctor, you know. Dentist, actually. And I'm not dating him anymore. <laughs> oh, no. No, it didn't work out. Uh, he spits a lot when he talks, so. And he has herpes in both places, so I just. Uh, I, uh, I felt at risk and... Great dentist, though. Uh, Trevor Markowitz, tell your friends. Did anyone else catch the debate last night? Was... Uh, seriously now, Erica. Uh, when are you gonna get a real job? Uh, an MBA would, a would be... A foot in the door, at least. I agree, Joe. I mean, you're beautiful, smart. Maybe I have the answer. I know a really great therapist. Be... Ouch. Excuse me. Oh, Excuse me. Erica. She's always been my sensitive daughter. Hey, I don't, okay? I know what you all think, that there's something wrong with me. That Erica, she's so pretty and so bright and such a friggin' disappointment. I get it. And, um, 
I'm suffocating under the weight of your collective disapproval. Sometimes I still catch myself going back in time. All the love that I had inside. But how I was so blind. Watching every play, but don't know why you're mad at me. I know we can't hide. But you say what? I wanted to be next to you. I'm asking you to stay. If you could only be there beside me. Sorry, I don't have Just any baby, change. Baby, baby, we could be free. Oh man. Yes, um, I just wanted some information. Oh, Dr. Thomas, between patients at the moment, you can go right up. Okay. Ah. Please, have a seat. Curiosity. Does no less than devotion pilgrims make? Abraham Cowley. You must be wondering how this whole thing works. Well, kind of, yeah. Full disclosure. My brand of uh, therapy is not traditional. I don't uh, claim to have a lot of uh, letters after my name, but what I will say is this. Whatever it is that you are unhappy about, I can fix it. And all I ask from you is that you make a commitment. Now, I'm not really interested in working with fence sitters. So you're going to have to agree to see things through to the very end. And I, for my part, will promise you that you will emerge from therapy with your problem solved. Isn't that a lot of pressure for you? Pressure makes diamonds. General George S. Patton. It's not really about me, is it? It's about you. So. That seems to be the problem. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you here? Uh, why am I here? Um, I don't know. I just, you know, I just, I, I just keep thinking that, you know, things weren't supposed to be this way. You know, I just thought I'd grow up and I'd get a great career and I'd meet a fabulous guy and I'd have an amazing life and... And what happened to that? I blew it. I mean, I had everything going for me and I screwed it up. How? Oh. It was bad choices. You know, most people, they have a few regrets. I got tons. <laughs> There's so many things that I would have done differently. Uh, like what? What are they, these, these bad choices, these regrets of yours? Well, like I said, there's a whole bunch. Would you like me to pick one? You know what? Why don't you write them down? Seriously? Just point form. How much time you got? <laughs> it was a joke. How's it going? It's going. I mean, there's more, of course, but um, these are the ones that keep me up at night. Thank you. Oh, wow.
What about this one? Why that one? That's weird, because, uh... Um... It happened in grade 11 at the uh, fall dance. It's like the biggest formal of the year. It was supposed to be the best night ever. I was gonna make out with Noah and dance my ass off. Uh, a bunch of friends and I, we got some vodka. We were drinking it, but I drank the most. And an hour into it, I could barely stand. My friends, I, I mean, they thought it was hilarious until I completely fell apart. Um, I passed it on the dance floor, it's vomiting, convulsing. It was a nightmare. And after that, I mean, my boyfriend Noah broke up with me. And, uh, and all the kids in school, they just, they talked for ages about how I was this big slut and how I'd ruin the dance for everyone. And I know this sounds like some dumb high school thing, but that night, it really changed my life. It changed the way that everyone in school saw me. It well, changed the way that I saw myself. You care a lot about what other people think about you, don't you? Not really. I mean... You know what? This has been interesting. It's really, it's been illuminating. But unfortunately, until you're ready to make a decision, there's not that much I can do for you. A decision, you mean? Yeah, no, I mean you need to decide. Do you want to jump off the cliff? Do you want to fix your life or not? I need to decide right now? Yeah, right now. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but coming here is starting to feel like another bad decision. Oh, well, what's one more then, really? I can't believe because I won't give you an answer right now. I mean, <laughs> you haven't even told me how much this therapy costs. Hey, did I ask you for any money? No. I asked you a simple question. Do you want to fix your problems or not? Yes or no? Yes! Okay, then answer me this. If you could go back to that day and do it over, what would you do differently? I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I would, I would, I would, I would make that night what it should have been, you know, the best night of the year. I'd... Is there a window open in here? It's, it's really cold. It's, uh... How great is that? We are gonna get loaded! Oh, wait, 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 Katie! What year is it? You're hilarious. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Erica. Hey, I just saw the yearbook layout. It looks great. Mr. Leeds? Yeah, I don't think you'll have any problem getting that proved. I think it, <gasps> it looks great. Are you okay? Are you all right? No, I'm not. I'm not. I can't. I can't. Uh, really smoking pot, and my 13-year-old brother-in-law just checked me out. If this is a dream, it's scary real. I have no words. Well, maybe three. What the hell? Am I really back in high school? <laughs> okay, okay. Panicking here. Stop. What did he say? Okay, he asked me if I wanted to fix my problems. He asked me if I could go back and do it differently. That's it. Just do it differently. Just fix it and then go home. Okay. 
Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Good morning, Blue Jay fans. It's 7.30 and 16 degrees in downtown Toronto. Here's a little something special to start your day. It's like a swimsuit. Can't do that. Good morning. Good morning. Come here, Miss Computer Expert. I, I'm trying to load this, but it keeps coming up. Syntax error. What do I do? Um, do star comma eight comma one. Yeah, that's right. You use that stupid thing every day, Gary. You think you'd have the hang of it by now? Eggs, Erica. Dad? Do we gotta get going? Suitcases in the trunk. Okay. Bye, sisters. Bye, Leo. Bye, Leo. Oh. oh. Erica. Erica. I'll be back at Christmas. Enjoy your day. What can I get for you? Can I get a coffee, please? Milk or sugar? Or you change your mind? What did you do? Did you hypnotize me? Did you drug me because this? I didn't sign up for this and I want out now. Oh boy. The world is full of fence sitters. You know, you sit on a fence long enough and you're liable to fall off. What is that, Plato? <laughs> no, I just made that up. The life which is unexamined is not worth living. That's Plato. Look, I am not a fit sitter, okay? What the heck? You think I'm, I'm supposed to accept that I'm just like, what, time traveling? Mm. <laughs> because this, this can't be for real. Mm. Feels real enough. Well, okay, what about paradoxes, huh? Mm. Butterfly effect, back to the future? I love that movie. If I change the past, if I don't get drunk, mm. won't that cause like World War III in the present? Or. Is it possible that your alcohol consumption, though very important to you, might not play a role in influencing world events? That's it? You're just gonna stand there, eat your hot dog, and make fun of me? You came to me because you wanted a coffee. I wanted help. And I'm giving you what you need. I'm giving you what you asked for. We learn by doing. There is no other way. John Holt, next. Dog? What are you doing? Have a good day. We learn by doing, huh? Right. Dance my ass off, make out with Noah. Okay, first things first. Remember my locker combination. I want to know you and forget her. And end up Erica! Hey. Um, okay. We have to talk. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Oh, why? You were acting a little weird yesterday. Okay. Did you do shrooms with us? What? No. <laughs> hey, baby. Noah! <laughs> Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna go find a supply closet. <laughs> Whoa, what's, what's going into you? Maybe I've changed. Do you like it? Mm, hell yeah. Okay. My boyfriend. <laughs> mm. Sam, Josh is here.
There we go. There we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not that I'm not enjoying this, but, but you know, the dance is happening out there, and, and we're in here. Oh, and, uh, oh did, did you want to stop? Did you want to, because we can go inside? <laughs> not really. Do you have any condoms? Hmm? Huh? Ooh, uh, where are they? Uh, uh, <laughs> I knew it. What are you, what are you doing? You have no idea how long I've thought about this. Oh, 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 okay, oh, st stop, st stop, stop, stop. What? You don't want to? No. Why? Well, because I, um... Well, because I, I don't want to be jammed up against the steering wheel of my sister's car the first time we have sex. Hey, 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 come on, what, what's the matter? What's, what's this rush also? Why, why not just wait? Why not wait? That's a good question. Why not wait? And I just, I, I think waiting's overrated. Patience is overrated. It'll happen when it's meant to is overrated. I mean, sometimes when you wait, you lose. You miss your chance. And I don't want to miss my chance with you, Noah. <laughs> Jesus. You're not going to miss anything. We can have sex tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, what if we break up tomorrow? Huh? What if we break up tomorrow and I spend the next 16 years dating guys that I have no chemistry with and then I wake up one day and I'm like 32 years old, I'm still single, and I'm still wondering what it would have been like to sleep with you. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Yep. Right there. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go park the car. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, um, maybe you should just, maybe you should just go inside. Okay? Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's yours, I think. Thank, thank you. Okay. Telling the world he saw you naked? Well, it's a lie. It's, just, it's more of a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding involving you and okay, a vibrator. Okay, let's just say that I was shaving and that there was a little problem. Josh! Is that him? Is that... Hey! Am I my girlfriend? You know come what? On. You know what? No, it's all right. It's all right. Josh, now we're going to spend a few no, minutes in the parking no, lot, aren't we, Josh? No, seriously. Seriously. He's just a little kid. He's half your size. Josh, goodbye. Look, I know that you're upset, but attacking him like that is not okay. What the hell is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? He's just a little kid. He's trying to get attention. I mean, what do you care? Now, you know what? Here's a better question. Why don't you care? At right, first, you act like some nympho out in the car. Now you're lecturing me like you're my mom. And in the meantime, the whole school is acting like some skank. Body. It's gorgeous. So if you don't think about it too hard, you can convince yourself that they're like, but then you really start talking to them and it's like, 
Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should go find my friends. Yeah. But thank you for the... Okay, bye. Oh, uh, hey. Uh, did you want a hot dog? Uh, if the point was for me to change my past, I did. Because there's the dance, and here's me, and I'm totally sober. So? So? What? Oh, that's good. Congratulations. You know what? Go to hell. Seriously. Do not weep. Do not wax indignant. Understand. Baruch Spinoza. Understand what? I don't understand. I don't understand anything. Why are you crying? Because you won't help me. And you trap me in this nightmare where you offer me hot dogs and quotes that make no sense, but you won't tell me what I have to do. You won't... I'm not sure what it is that you want from me. I want to know what I have to do. Is this ever going to be over? Am I just stuck here? Well, no one's ever stuck anywhere. You are where you need to be right now. And when you're finished doing whatever it is that you're meant to be doing, then you move on. What is it that I'm meant to be doing? What is my goal here? What uh, is my purpose? If life's journey be endless, where is its goal? The answer is, it's everywhere. Rabindranath Tagore. God, I like him. Extra gym clothes in my locker. It's 12, 33, 24. Okay, listen. 12, 33, 24. Just take this, dump it in there, and bring back my gym clothes, okay? 12, 33, 24. 12, 33, 24. Oh, God. Hey, Katie, honey, how you doing? Katie? Katie?
Is she gonna... I just called her parents. They're gonna meet her at the hospital. Thank you. Sorry, I, th I just thought that you were, um, I just got confused. Forget it. Erica, Erica, can I speak with you, please? I wanted to find out if you're... Okay. Now, I don't want to pry, but if you need someone to talk to, I'm available, you know, or I can recommend someone. No, I thank you. I don't think that a therapist is really what I need right now. Listen, Erica. I mean, it's really nice of you to take an interest, though. It's just, it's really, it's, it's complicated. It is. Yeah, it is. Um, maybe you've noticed that I've been acting a little strange lately, a little unlike myself, but, and uh, that would be because I'm not, I'm not really myself. You're not. No. This is gonna make me sound crazy. But the truth is, is that I'm from the future. Wow, that sounds even more crazy out loud than it does in my head. Erica. Look, I'm a 32-year-old woman, and I'm stuck inside a 16-year-old body, and I know that you're not going to believe me, but I'm telling you anyways, because you you seem nice and normal, and my age. Actually, you're probably a little bit younger. Uh, you don't believe me, right? Of course you don't believe I'm just going to forget it. Ignore me is... I want to help you. The only way that you can help me is if you believe me, and I know that that's impossible. But the really unbelievable thing is, is that I screwed it up again. God, I'm such an idiot. And now you're standing here thinking, crazy girl just walked naked through the formal. Actually, you know, I was thinking that you did what you had to do to get your friend the help that she needed. And under the circumstances, I wouldn't say that that's crazy. I'd say that that's brave. I know you've had a difficult night. You have no idea. And I know that some of the students are probably going to talk. This is the story of my life. God, it's really cold. Why don't we go inside, and we can talk, and I'll call your parents, and they can come and pick you up, OK? Uh, I just got to get home. Just, I'm really exhausted, and it's, it's time for me to go home. <laughs> You. Why aren't you answering your phone? What is the point of having a phone unless you answer the phone? Hey, phone? Dad! Thank God you're safe. You know I called the police when you jumped out the window. Well, of course she jumped. I would jump if I were her. Okay, Gary, don't start. Um, what time is it? Two o'clock. I called you at least 15 times. Okay, so it was just... We just had brunch an hour ago? Yes. Trevor! Hi. Um, Trevor, the, uh, Mom and Dad, this is Trevor. The doctor? Dentist. He's a dentist. <laughs> That's right. Nice to meet you. Likewise. So, I was in the neighborhood. Plans fell through. Thought I'd drop by. Oh, how lovely. Hmm. Am I interrupting anything? No, no. We were just leaving. Yes, we were. <laughs> All right. You want to grab a bite? OK. Yeah? You going to get change first? People might think you look a little strange. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> but you know what? Actually, so what? Erica. Seriously, at least I'm dressed, right? <sighs> On second thought, Trevor, I think that we should skip that bite. I don't want to waste your time. Actually, I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to jet.
your office. I don't routinely keep an office. And I find that too confining. Oh, I apologize. I'm not able to chat with you right now. But our next session will begin shortly. I have your list. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. We have a lot of work to do, you and me. No, I'm just kidding. But you did make a commitment. No, what commitments? You set me up. You set me up, and I humiliated myself. Again, only this time, I really gave everyone something to talk about. As always, it's what everyone else thinks. What? You expect me not to care? Is that the whole point of this exercise? Because if it is, guess what? I failed. Because I still care, and I'm always going to care! I realize you're screaming. So? So when you blew off that dentist, you cared that your parents were going to be disappointed, right? Yes, but that... And when you walked through that gymnasium, you cared that everybody was staring at you. Yes! Well, you did it anyway. Yeah, because I had to. We don't have to do anything. You know what? Screw this. I am done. No, you're not done. I never expected you to stop caring, Erica. I just wanted you to stop letting that get in your way. You didn't fail, Erica. With your parents' opinions and your, your friends' opinions, yeah, of course. They're always gonna matter. They just don't matter as much as your own. I have to leave now. I'll see you soon. Wait. Hey! Change. Sometimes it sneaks up on you. Sometimes it hits you over the head. And sometimes you turn a corner only to find you're different in some small way. In the world, it doesn't look quite like it used to. So where do I go from here? No idea. And for the first time, I feel like that's a good thing. Sky.